Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Playwright tutorial, I'm going to discuss about the filter method and then filter by child or descendant. So previously we have seen about filter by text and not having text, right? How you can use it. And now what exactly or where exactly we need a filter by child or descendant? What is the benefit of it to use it, right? Now filter by child, you will see that locator support an option to only select elements that have or not have or have not a descendant matching another locator okay now you use filter by child or descendant when you are looking for a specific locator okay for example within a div i'm looking for anchor tags okay now previously filter by text is something if we go to go here in uh, swag labs right so we have this inventory list okay so when we say filter by text so it doesn't matter if the text is in anchor tag or basically within the anchor tag or the text is somewhere else but say for example in these list items that we have okay so these are the items now within these items I'm looking for a specific header to contain a particular type of text right so I'm looking for a particular locator which has the header okay and only that text I'm looking for to filter so in that particular case I can use the child locator okay so basically child or basically the child or descendant filter right so for example here in the example if you'll see the documentation is really really clear so uh, we are getting by role and then filtering by uh, a page you know a locator for example I'm, I'm looking for all the headings below a particular tag or below a particular locator okay so that is where it will be really helpful so let's understand this with this same example the swag labs product okay now if i go ahead here and let's say copy filter demo okay i'll just simply copy the same thing and i'll showcase it so you can easily correlate right so here we were filtering by the text okay so here let me filter demo and filter demo this is basically child right so i'll say filter demo child and if i open this particular file so what we were doing we were logging logging in by providing username and password in a source demo website okay then we were clicking or we were trying to find the elements or basically what all products right so when we say these products so where where what is the section which contains these product details it's basically these inventory item right so if, you, if i just hover over i'll get all the details there so you'll see that it contains the text it contains the price it contains the button to add it to the card as well as the image everything with the within this div if you expand this div you will see different within divs there are different divs so if we see this highlight div is basically containing the image the next one is containing all the text related things and the button and the price so if I expand this more you will see there is another div within it which contains all the description another div contains price and add to cart if I expand this I'll get another div which contains the price okay and then there is a button right there is a button within that day so now say for example i want to filter the item okay so i want to keep everything but then filter based on the child or descendant okay within a particular locator so if we go ahead and see this particular x path okay so this was the x path to basically get all the products all right so if i simply go ahead and paste this x path here okay with this and hit enter you will see it will fetch me six results right so because these are all inventory items so these are the items here now if i want to filter so basically there will be multiple results now i can use filter to filter out the results out of six if i want to filter a specific item or a specific child item right when i say child item i can specify a particular locator when i used text i only was able to use the particular text for example the heading or uh, you know i can use something in the description to filter it it won't check whether the text is in the header or paragraph it won't check that but if i'm going to use child right if i'm going to use this or filter by child or descendant it will allow me to provide a locator okay provide another uh, option to search by locator okay so here that's what it is saying it will it will allow me to filter by an, any other locator okay within it so the other locator that i want to look for is paragraph okay so for example i want to filter based on the name right so the locator i want to look for is basically the child below this which is anchor tag 
ओके सो आई से ओके फिल्टर ऑल द वंस व्हिच आर हैविंग लिंक्स ओके और फिल्टर बेस्ड ऑन द लिंक्स सो ऑलमोस्ट इट विल बी सिमिलर बट इट्स जस्ट दैट विद विदाउट हैज टेक्स विल यूज हैज एंड देन प्रोवाइड द लोकेटर ऑफ द आइटम दैट आई वांट टू फिल्टर अगेंस्ट ओके सो आई विल सिंपली गो अहेड एंड कॉपी दिस जस्ट टू कीप इट कीप इट अ लिटिल क्विक सो आई विल कॉपी ऑल ऑफ दिस all right and now in the text part you you had this has text okay but if you are filtering by child you will have has okay or has not okay so if you simply say uh, there is another option which is negation or negative so filter by child or filter by not having child okay so has not is for that so has page get by roll right so i am searching for another locator okay and i am looking for links okay because we know that all these headings are where in the anchor tag which is link right and then i'll filter that based on the text within link so i can say okay filter by link okay and then provide the name of the link right so what is the name of the link that i'm looking for so you can filter based on any link okay for example this time i am looking for sauce labs backpack so i'll provide the name of the sauce labs backpack okay it has logged off so let me log in again so i'll copy this and then the name of the product so i'm getting the role uh, getting by role which is basically within these locators it will check for uh, this is basically the product right this is the locator for the product this is the x path for all the products right um, and then within that it will check okay it will go ahead and then filter based on what based on the child within it which is of type link and having the name this and then what i want to do and then i don't want to you know like use anything else here so basically now i'm getting the filter and then i can simply go ahead uh, after getting this filter uh, i think there is an extra no that's fine okay so this filter is fine now what do i need to do so it will filter and then i'll click on add to cart right so if i want to add it to the cart then i'll simply again use dot get by role button and then name add to cart and then click it right so the only difference between text and uh, the child is that within the child i can use has okay uh, for text you have this has or filter by text is basically has text filter by child is just has and then provide the locator of the child that you are looking for along with the name okay so this will perform similar absolutely similar operation so if i simply save it okay and let's go back and execute this particular test and see it in action okay so it has logged in and is immediately we'll see that the product has been quickly added right you'll see in the a card in the right hand side if i click on it i have clicked manually on it you'll see sauce slabs backpack has been added which is what i have filtered here the product right with the role the role is link and link name was sauce slabs backpack and then i had in the get by role which is basically then you know after filtering i am getting the add to cart button and then clicking on that right so this is basically how how i am going to use the filter by child and descendant these are very very important concepts because these will be used a lot when you are doing the actual test cases right that's why i'm covering all of these concepts so then the next one is filter by not having child or descendant so you can this is more of a negation of what filter by child so you, when we say filter by this you are looking for something which contains that when you say filter by not then you are checking that whatever text that you are giving you are trying not to filter based on that right so it should not contain or all the results should not none of the results should contain this only then give me that count right so that is more of a negation so you can basically just uh, play around with this and the concept is absolutely similar to use this all right so that's all about the filter locator locator or filtering locators within playwright in the next video i'll cover about the locator operators thank you see you in the next lecture